The year is 1936. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler of Germany wanted a car for the people, a simple car that could be mass produced for the country's new road network. It took two years for Ferdinand Porsche to finalize the design. The car would be known as the Beetle. Because of Germany's involvement with World War II, the Beetle, the civilian Beetle, wouldn't be produced until 1945. The Beetle used a unique Boxster-style engine. Instead of the pistons going up and down in a traditional engine, this engine is essentially flat and the pistons go from side to side. The engine block is cast in two pieces of aluminum alloy. The cylinder heads are aluminum as well. Push rods are hollow for oil to pass through, bringing pressurized oil to the valve train. Featured forged crankshaft and rods. Exhaust ports are found in the front and rear of the heads. Exhaust also provides cabin heat. These engines are air-cooled and that means exactly that. There is absolutely no antifreeze that goes into this equation. Think multi-cylinder lawnmower and is cooled by a single fan that's mounted in about the middle of the engine which is belt driven by the crankshaft pulley. This engine family has five displacements, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1500, and 1600 cc's. Yes, you could bore them out. We're not getting into any of the aftermarket engines. We are only talking about the root engine in this episode. So starting from the beginning, with the 1100 cc, which is actually 1131 cc, 69 cubic inch displacement, opposing four 1.1 liters. It was good for 25 horsepower, 3300 RPM, with a bore of three inches and a stroke of 2.5 inches. Compression was 5.8 to one. It featured four main bearings. This engine was produced from 1945 to 1955. In 1955, bumped horsepower up to 30 horsepower, and that engine was available from 1955 to 1960, and could be found mostly primarily in the Beetle. In 1960, Volkswagen would come out with the 1200cc, aka 1192, 1 1.2 liters. This engine had a new crankcase with a pedestal for the generator. It also implemented a new design in cylinder head, an inlet manifold, and a larger Solex carburetor, which bumped horsepower up to 36 to 40 horsepower at 3,700 RPM, 64 pound-feet of torque at 2,400 RPM, with a bore of 3 inches and a stroke of 2.5 inches. Compression was also increased to 6.6 .6 to 1, or could be as high as 7 to 1. Four main bearings, Solex single-barrel carburetor. Maximum top speed with this engine said to be 72 miles per hour. This engine was produced from 1960 to 1965. Also, these are all baseline numbers, just a jumping off point. Different years could mean different horsepower figures. In 1965, Volkswagen stroked the 1200 to 1300 cc, aka 1285 cc or 78.4 cubic inch displacement, 1.3 liters. It was good for 41 horsepower at 4,000 RPM, 64 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 RPM, with a bore of 3 inches and a stroke of 2.7 inches. Compression was bumped up to 7.3 to 1, 4 main bearings, single Solex carburetor. This engine was produced from 1965 to 1970. Top speed was 82 miles per hour. It's important to note that this engine could be had with single port or dual port. Volkswagen only offered two engines that had that feature, the 1300cc and the 1600cc. And what is the difference? Because you'll hear that term from time to time in Volkswagen circles. So what, what does that mean? The difference is in the intake manifold design. Single port intake have a single intake port per cylinder head, which provides low end torque and good fuel economy. Dual port has two ports per cylinder head, which provides better airflow, more horsepower, and higher torque at higher speeds. Real quick story time. So for those that don't know, I owned a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia at one point in time. It was a 73, so it had a little bit beefier engine in it. 
And I can attest that if you saw a hill coming up, you had to plan for it. Like you had to get a running start, but on the highway, it had decent pulling power from 50 to like 65 ish miles per hour. The real sweet spot was 65. It would go 80, but if you saw a hill coming in the distance, you would want to get a running start. Otherwise you'd have to downshift. And sometimes there wasn't enough power I mean, there was, you would get up the hill, but you would get up the hill slowly. One more thing I wanna add, there is nothing that sounds like an air-cooled Volkswagen when it's running good and proper behind your head. It just, it's a magical sound. Anyway, moving on. In 1966 or 67, because sources conflict, a new version of Volkswagen air-cooled was introduced, the 1500 cc, and this version used the same crankshaft, but piston size increased to 88 millimeters. So 1500 cc's aka 1493 or 91.1 cubic inch displacement 1.5 liters it's good for up to 53 horsepower 4200 rpm up to 78 pound feet of torque at 2600 rpm with a bore of 3.3 inches in a stroke of 2.7 inches compression is up to seven and a half to one four main bearings this engine was only used for a tiny window in time either 1966 to 67 up until 1970 when it was replaced with the legendary 1600 cc in 1970. Volkswagen fitted slightly bigger pistons to the same crankshaft bringing displacement to 1600 cc. In the very first year this engine was offered, it was offered in single port and dual port. Single port was only offered for the first year and dual port was offered all the way out until 2004 when the engine was discontinued. 1600 cc or 96.7 cubic inch displacement, 1.6 liters. It's good for anywhere between 46 to 57, some would even say as high as 60 horsepower at 4,400 RPM, 82 pound feet of torque at 3,000 RPM with a bore of 3.4 inches and a stroke of 2.7 inches. Compression was 7.5 to 1 for main bearings. This engine was produced from 1970 all the way out until 2004. And this engine was in the Carmen Ghia. It was in the bus. It was in the Beetle. It was in the Thing. It was in just about every Volkswagen product at one point. Some other vehicles the 1600 was used in 1971 through 1989 Volkswagen Puma, which is a totally sweet overlooked car. The 1600 was also used in light aircraft, kit cars, industrial applications, but like all good things, they must come to an end. The 1600 CC ceased production in or around 2004. Some sources say that it lasted until 2006, with the reason for cancellation being it just wasn't making enough money to produce it. All right, now it's time for Would You Rather two scenarios today. In the first scenario, would you rather have a 1967 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia or a 1955 Volkswagen Beetle, or a 1963 Volkswagen Bus. I'm gonna leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free, pause the video. Moving to the second scenario. Which one would you rather have? 1955 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, or 1971 Volkswagen Puma, or 1966 Volkswagen Type 34 Carmen Ghia. I'm gonna leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to get both the name of the band and the song correctly in the comment section will have their comment pinned to the top of it. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below or check out our Facebook group that I call The After Party. Gives you the opportunity to share your rides, stories, experiences, and pictures, videos. It's a really cool place. I'm very active on there just as I'm active on here. And if you want to talk to me, just reach out with a direct message or you can send me an email. All of it will be linked in the description below. Just know I appreciate all of the support. And until next time, toodaloo!